I'm having a great day here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. I didn't go to the park to do any metal detecting today, even though the sky is nice and blue, the birds are chirping. It's just because the wind is blowing terribly today. It's like 10, 15, 20 mile per hour winds, and it's about 15 to 20 degrees, degrees colder than yesterday. So I decided not to go metal detecting today. That's why I'm out on the porch for a few minutes talking about metal detecting. In fact, I may start making these videos on days that I don't go out hunting. That way I can still enjoy the hobby without actually having to freeze to death and snotting on myself. <laughs> That's always a bonus. Not the snotting on myself part. All right, I want to talk. start off by talking about Western and Eastern Treasure Magazine. I don't know if you guys ever read this. I picked it up at Barnes & Noble. It cost me like five bucks. Actually, it's five fifty on the cover here. But this particular one is from April, and it's a very cool, well, April 2012 um, issue. It's the uh, best finds of the year. Awesome. <laughs> this will get you excited, man. Let me show you some of this stuff here. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Uh, check this out. No, I have, can you see that? This thing right here? It's a gold chain with diamonds in it. It's like every link has a diamond in it. That is super cool. That thing right there, let's see what the value is. Let me change the page. It'll show us. Oh, I mean, I looked at this, man. I got super excited. Yeah, here it talks about it. Gold and diamond chain value, 30 grand. That's three zero 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 thirty thousand dollars I mean could you imagine digging that thing up um, here somebody found a, a almost a 10 ounce gold nugget um, oh there's some you know coins and stuff let me show you some of the coins this reminds me of some of you guys who are always finding multiple silvers oh well here's a mercury dime a 1916 D mint mark that thing sold for fifteen hundred dollars or did he sell it or just keep it might have just kept it. Some of these guys auction their stuff. Other people keep it. Oh yeah, here's here's what I'm talking about. Here's a silver coin cache right here. Let me see how many coins this is. This is like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13. I don't know, like 18 or 19 silver coins in one hole. <laughs> yeah, that's all. Actually, some of you guys have been digging up tons of silver lately, which is pretty cool. I gotta admit. Anyway, oh yeah, and then right here on the bottom, a George Washington button. I mean, man, people are finding some of the coolest stuff out there. You guys may want to stop by someplace that uh, sells this magazine, pick it up. It'll get you inspired to go out there and keep hunting. Now, I haven't dug up anything exciting. I only got one silver, and it wasn't a coin. It was just a pendant, but, hey, I like it. Um, you know, and I'm at a park where I'm, I'm only getting clad, but that's okay. One of these days, I'm going to vacuum up the park. Everything is going to be gone, and then I'll move locations, and I'll kill the silver. Now there is something pretty interesting in this magazine that um, I like. They did a review here. The title is "New Release." They did the XP Deus. Um, now this is a detector that's I think it's made in France, but it's only been in the U.S. for about a year, and I don't think anybody hardly knows about it yet. But it's a super sweet. This is what Jed uses uh, that does metal detecting in the U.K. over there. I don't know how well you can see that, but it's a it's totally wireless. The headphones are wireless. The control box is wireless. Everything is wireless. Um, it, this has got multiple patents pending on this machine because they designed this from the ground up. I mean, it's an awesome machine right here. If nothing else, uh, check out the magazine just for the review. It has uh, four different um, frequencies that you can change through. It's all programmable. I mean, I know there's a lot of programmable machines out there, but this sounds really cool. It's like state of the art. We don't have anything like it here in the U.S. except for this. I think this is like a one of the one of a kind machine right there. Very cool. I think uh, right now it's, it costs like $1,800, but that's an introductory price, and I think it's normally like $2,300. But in any case, you should check out that issue right here. Um, it'll get you inspired to get out there and start swinging that detector around. Let me show you what else I picked up today. I decided to pick up some. Uh, marking flags it's just a I think there's 25 let me see what it says yeah there's 25 of them in this little package here because when you're out I've discovered that when I'm out doing a field a baseball field a football field or any large field it's hard to go in a straight line and to know where I've gone and haven't gone so I picked these up for I think it was like four dollars maybe 450 something like that with tax and I can just put these down now and and you know, in a square or a circle, I can do a triangle, whatever design I want, octagon, 
hexagon, <laughs> retardagon, and uh, in any case, this will keep me from, uh, you know, curving too much, and this this way I don't have to repeat myself and go over the same area. Anyway, this is a good idea. So you guys, if you don't use these, you may want to think about it. You can buy them at Lowe's or Home Depot, places like that. And again, it's only four or five dollars for 25 of them, and you can even buy them in hot pink which is what my wife said I should get is hot pink, but I was like, nah, I don't think so. They had white ones and, you know, whatever. So I was hoping they had some with, like, a little pirate chest on there. I thought that would have been pretty appropriate. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so I'll probably go out and do some metal detecting tomorrow. It's going to be a lot nicer tomorrow, I think. But today is going to be movies the whole rest of the day, and I'll watch you guys' videos later on. So I hope you find something awesome. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Leave me a thumbs up, comment, and uh, happy hunting. Good luck. I'll see you out there. Take care. Bye.